from your hyperlocal weather source. This is your Norcast weather update. As a medical director, I work closely with all our providers as well as the nursing staff to ensure we provide top-notch quality care for all our residents. Seeing every resident achieving their goal and being satisfied with our care gives me a lot of pride to be part of the team of preferred care at Epsicon. Hi everybody, happy Monday. The one silver lining, we are looking forward to a nice night ahead. Things aren't too hot just yet, but over the next couple of evenings, we are gonna be seeing some warm, even muggy conditions during the overnight hours. So not even too much relief once that sun goes down. Once we really get this heat going, we're gonna stay muggy for pretty much all day and all night for numerous days in a row. So get ready for some intense heat. But tonight, not half bad. We're still down into the 60s, clear skies, just a couple of clouds, really not a whole lot going on. Tomorrow is when the heat starts to really build in. We're going to be back up into the 90s, into the 80s down the shore. Lots of sunshine out there, no rain, nothing going on, just a lot of heat and a lot of humidity. But this is just the beginning of it. Like I said, we're going to see those temperatures continue to rise day after day by Friday and Saturday. We will be in triple digit territory feeling even warmer because keep in mind there's the air temperature and then there's what it feels like. You tack on that extra humidity, those dew points into the 60s and it feels even warmer. Now, if we had, let's say 101 degrees, but the dew points were down to the 30s and 40s, it would feel like a true 100. But it's just not what we have in our area. You see that kind of down in the desert or up in the mountains or something like that. But here close to the coastline, we're going to see those dew points staying high. That's going to make you feel like 104, maybe even 105 by Friday and Saturday. And this is really the temperature that you have to be prepare for it. Don't be prepared for 98 when it's actually going to be closer to feeling like 104 or 102. You want to really pay attention to that heat index and how it's actually going to feel. This time of year, you definitely don't want to be leaving anything or anyone in the car. Not only are you going to deal with some melted uh, products. I know people tend to leave chapsticks and makeup products in the car and they get ruined, but also your furry friends, your kiddos, don't leave them in the car no matter what. Even in just 10 quick minutes, that temperature inside the car can get closer to 110 degrees and that's only when the temperature is 90 degrees outside. So if it's 101 in less than five minutes, you are already seeing some of those more intense in, um, melting temperatures. So definitely clear out the cars tonight before you go to bed and make sure over the next couple of days or really for the rest of the summer. You're not leaving the kiddos or the furry friends in the car when you run into the store or anything like that. We are very dry for the next couple of days, which is not necessarily a good thing. We are very dry across our region. We get a new drought monitor this Thursday, and I will not be surprised if we end up in moderate maybe even severe drought conditions due to the lack of rain and just how dry we are because only the lack of rain is one thing but then you crank the temperature up to 101 102 degrees and that soaks up any of the moisture we do have lingering across our area high pressure is going to be our dominant feature it's part of what's fueling the warmer air it pulls that warm tropical air up off the gulf and forces it back up into the northeast so that's part of why these temperatures are rising also the high pressure keeping the rain away. We're not really seeing much in the way of shower chances for the next week or so. Down the shore, that's where you kind of want to go. If you can head towards the water, seek a little bit of relief as far as the temperatures are concerned, it's definitely a good idea, especially as we get towards the end of the week. That being said, if you can't head down the shore, if you gotta stay closer inland or further inland, you still wanna seek relief in other ways. Make sure you're staying hydrated. If you have AC, use it if you don't have ac get those fans going get the shade going block out some of those windows so your home interior temperature is not rising with that sun shining through the windows uh, just do your best to stay cool because some intense heat is on the way as far as an official heat wave we could be looking at that maybe thursday into the weekend again by definition, a heat wave is over 95 for three days or more. So tomorrow, Wednesday, would not be technically included in a heat wave, but as we look forward to the end of the week, that's where we could be seeing uh, an official heat wave coming in. Okay, How, I hope you guys stay cool, do the best you can, and I will check back in with you later on tonight with your bedtime forecast.